What is up, Go World? It's me, your boy, JDZ, and I'm back at you with another Go Format video. If you didn't know, GFC 17 is underway and it is a huge smash. 266 competitors came out and now they've whittled themselves down to the top eight. Um, a, fear, a furious day of playing, a lot of good high intensity matches. I was fortunate enough to be in the booth to do some commentary and I saw a lot of these things take place firsthand. Uh, with me, I have Insidious. One of the uh, one of a good friend of mine and co-founders of Go Format War League. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick rundown of the top eight. We're gonna talk about the decks. We're gonna talk about some of the things we saw in the event and how it's gone. And uh, and we're gonna do it like that. What do you think about that, Insidious? I'm excited. Uh, top eight, half is rampage. Uh, <laughs> they called it. Is there? Everyone's a rampage now, so at least they get uh, top eight. But let's check it out. I, I like I like to I like to hear it. Yeah, top eight rampage a lot of a lot of rampage in the house. So <laughs> here I'm I'm going to post the I'm gonna post the bracket right here, which is gonna go up the list um, from the bottom to the top of that bracket. So we're gonna start with uh, the losers. Uh, start from start from the loser side. We got Ghost Rider 15 versus Juve. So all right, so here is Ghost Rider's deck. Uh, Ghost Rider is a very talented and prolific Chaos Turbo player. Um, he actually wrote an article about Chaos Turbo and some of the history of it on the GoFormat.com website. Make sure you get over there and check that out. But here is his deck. Uh, Insidious, what do you think about this, about, about what Ghost Rider has taken to this event today? Uh, well, Ghost Rider is one of the most prolific Chaos Turbo players for the past few seasons. And um, this looks like a typical build. Uh, what I do like is the uh, Tech Don, Donny Z. And uh, what I did notice, though, is that he replaced two jars with a torrential and a dust shoot. So to, he gave up some of the draw power for some more real traps. Um, that could be the wave now. Uh, and I see that he has a Chaos Warrior side. So he brings in the Blade Knights and the Zombiros and the Rotos, along with his main deck, uh, Donnie Z. Uh, it's an interesting build. Yeah. Uh, like, has smoke screen. But not too much, so you're not giving up uh, your true identity of the deck. Uh, I got. I'm a huge <laughs> fan of the of the, like you said, the more real traps, and the main deck Zon, Don is just I don't know what kind of call that was, but he pulled it off. Uh, he made it through mm -hmm. this event, and I, I think I really want. If I had to pick, I don't like to pick people or pick any kind of thing, but I want Ghost Rider to go ahead and get him a crown. He's topped right. four of the last GFCs in a row consecutively. He's topped so many events, but he's never won a major title. Th thus far so maybe this could be the chance to uh to break that curse but uh yeah he's got always yeah. always a bridesmaid never a bride oh he's always in there always in the discussion <laughs> but uh he's got a heavy he's, he's got a pretty good matchup against the warriors he's got a lot of he's got a lot of battle traps in here got the dust tornadoes i mean there's no burn in the top eight so he's going to be uh well suited mm -hmm. to, to maybe make a run but he's going to be playing against uh juve here mm -hmm. so juve here is juve's deck uh, Juve is playing Chaos Control. I don't know who has the edge in this matchup. Um, Chaos Control with one main deck Royal Decree. I think that's a that's a pretty good tech. And uh, the Divine Wrath in the side. What do you think about what Juve is doing from Team GCI? Um, seems like a decent TDCC build. Two Reapers is interesting and could help out against warriors uh so yeah t pretty decent tdcc list uh because he's playing against ghosts who's on turbo and not warriors i think those two reapers could um, help him stall for a bit uh one decree could um what surprise factor is gone since the lists are revealed uh but i think that decree could help game one at least uh, um against cast uh turbo because he's still playing 10 traps uh, one does shoot's nice. I would have preferred it to be at two, but it seems to have gotten there. And uh, but naturally, Chaos Turbo should be the favorite here. And between Ghost and Juve, uh, despite Juve being a pretty good performer in the past couple tournaments, I gotta go with Ghost Rider. You picking Ghost? I'm not gonna make any picks because my <laughs> picks are the kiss of death, and I don't want to jinx anybody. I'm just gonna say I hope for a good match. But I, I mean, I, maybe Ghost Rider does have a slight edge, but he does have the double Royal Decree in the side deck. He does have the Divine Wrath, which I saw him use to uh, to a pretty decent effect a few times in this event. <laughs> uh, he's got the Zaborg mm -hmm. in there. The side deck may be able to 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 tech that thing out. He side decks for an extremely long amount of time, so he's going through all the spreadsheets analysis. I don't know what uh what Juve is gonna do, but. I know it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fantastic match. All these matches are gonna be really good. I can see any of these players uh, walking away with this thing in this event. Mm -hmm. uh, 
The next player we're going to talk about, we got Lucas the Heretic in the top eight again. Top tables again. Like, the man doesn't stop. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't take a break. Another newly acquired Rampage asset. Uh, Lucas is now a member of that, of the Gorilla team. Uh, and he's back on his stuff. He's back He's back on the Warriors, as you can see. Uh, very powerful Warrior deck. I think his build is very solid. Uh, you have played Warriors in the past. What do you think about this about this setup? And what Lucas has done, and maybe can continue to do in this event. Uh, fix that broken, don't fix it. I know Lucas has been struggling lately, uh, so maybe he decided to re reignite the fire with the Warriors. Mm -hmm. uh, three shoot standards, three solemn. D is being a, a Zing, which is cool. Uh, besides that, it looks like a regular Chaos Warrior build. No Chaos Sorcerer though, which is interesting. Right. I mean, um, he does. Sork, Sork can't break a lot though, and he's got the he's got the tribe in there. Uh, yeah, Sork, mm -hmm. Sork does break. He's got the more battle traps on the side. Yeah. I mean, if it works, it works. Yeah, if it ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And he's back. Yeah, he's he's back on it. He's back at the top. No one, <laughs> I mean, everyone saw this coming. Very obvious. Super super dope player. Shout out to Lucas on that. But Lucas will be playing against a player named Kevin. Kevin Fresh IRL. I'm not too familiar with this player. I'm not too familiar with this user. Um, but he's he brought the heat. He we he he dug deep into the bag and found the whole spice cabinet and brought it and threw it into his deck and he's making it pop, man. With the Golem Sentries, the My Body is a Shield, three Royal Decree, three Book of Moon, uh, control Chaos Control deck. I mean, I think it's great. I saw him a few times on the stream and I was lit every time he played. Uh, he took down some very very talented players with this deck. Um, what do you think about it? It's interesting. That this is the surprise probably of um, GFC top eight so far. Uh, again, a three golem century. That's an interesting card. It's a Pac-Man card. Uh, it gets its it gets its effect off when it's flipped uh, manually, uh, not during battle phase. That's why I don't think it will hurt uh, Lucas too much. Um, uh, what also is cool about it is you don't really need battle traps because it has an eighteen hundred defense. Right. Uh, my body as a shield is cool. I do like that. Um, triple decree. So he is kind of preed for Lucas's thirteen traps in the main deck. Um, I think, I think Lucas should still win. But if it goes to game three, like it, it could be anyone's, anyone's game. I think uh, I, I'm. I will not pick against Lucas. I will, I don't. Again, I'm not making any picks. I'm going to keep saying that. But I'm. I won't pick against Lucas. But this deck is geared completely against what he's trying to do. So let's go back to mm -hmm. Lucas. So this Lucas' deck again. You know, ton of traps. A ton of guys who don't naturally. You know, are over eighteen hundred. This he's shutting down. Shut down Sasuke. He's shut down Kaiko. He's. Sh you know, Blade Knight, if you're putting stuff back in his hand, Blade Knight's going to consistently be at that at that 16. So it's going to be hard to get over this little little golem dude. And then he's got the Royal Decrees, and he's got the My Bodies. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not making any picks, but it's going to be a very tough matchup for the Warrior player against this uh, golem control chaos situation, man. But shout out to both of these players. They're both at the top table. Anything can happen. Um, and I'm excited. I'm going to be there watching the whole thing and see how it all, how it all pans out. Uh, next. It's a... One second. No, you're good. Uh, if, if the decree is out and he has the book set, I don't see how Lucas gets over to Golem Sentry because only out is really Blade Knight, a, a powered up Blade Knight. But besides that, I think that Golem Sentry could stick. Yeah. Now, check for just one tournament. I don't see people are starting to play it, especially especially at three. But uh, let's see what happens. All right, so that's Lucas and Kevin. Those are both coming from the loser side. Now we're moving over to the winner side with Slash Tap versus Left Arm Suffering. So we got Slash Tap here. Uh, Slash Tap is on uh, Chaos Turbo. I'm so glad to see Slash Tap back into the game. I'm so glad to see Slash Tap qualifying for Worlds. Uh, it was a long season last season. They made it very close several times, did not make it in. Now they made it in, and I think uh, it's, good, it's good to see that happen, you know, some, some just desserts, if you will. But uh, Slash Tap's on a on a on a pretty standard Chaos Turbo deck with uh, Regeki Breaks again. The one jar you mentioned that earlier about the one jar um, that might be catching on. That might be the new wave or the or, or what? What do you think about this deck and what uh, Slash Tap is doing? I uh, say so Chaos Turbo Slash Tap. Cool to see him back. Um, I know he went away for a bit. Uh, I I do see a one jar again. So it seems to uh, be a new wave, especially with Ghost Rider playing it. 
Uh, one Reaper. Again, that seems to be a, seems to be a good tech over a third spy. Um, in case your spy gets knocked, you still have a stall uh, monster. Uh, uh, yeah, it seems a good, uh, decent build. And um, I have nothing else to say. Dope, dope. Yeah, I like it. I mean, uh, pretty standard. It's got all the matchups covered in the side. Uh, just pretty, a, a pretty safe Chaos Turbo deck. But he will be playing up against Left Arm Suffering, which had, oh, that's, so Left Arm Suffering has my second favorite deck in the top eight. Uh, this is Go Control, baby. This is, this is the format defining Go Control deck on the top tables. Love to see it. Um, yeah, so he's, he went, he went all in. Three goats, three metas, three books. Air Knight, the man Parshaft is in the deck. Abyss Soldier, come on, man. Um, what do you think about what Left Arm Suffering is doing in this goat control at the top tables deck? I think he is un- Left Arm Suffering is actually undefeated. Is obviously undefeated, um, and I-, I love to see it. Huge fan of what's going on here. What do you think? He must be doing something <laughs> right. Uh, this reminds me of the Mascus Twenty Twenty Worlds build. Uh, goat control with swaps, uh, decrees, and such. Uh, I like it. It's interesting. Uh, one of uh, Merchant, one of Mimic. You're really diversifying your knock portfolio in case one gets hit and don't lose your entire engine. Dude, can I have that? Uh, knock portfolio, can I have that? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, he definitely loves the one ups in the side deck. One, sure. one, one breaker in the, in the side deck. Uh, Karibo for the memes, probably. Uh, one jar in the side. It's interesting. It yeah. sure is. Uh, I'm guessing he sides in. What does he side? In? I don't. Like for warriors and turbo. Like he, I see the traps. I see a decree, and I have a trap. You that know. And, and, like, don't seem to trump with decree <laughs> playing against the uh, uh, turbo or, or uh, warriors. Dude, but... I don't. I don't know. That's gonna be. That's 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 not for me to decide. I think he's he's got to figure it out. Yeah. He might bring it in for like alt win stuff, or maybe when decree isn't as good. I don't know, but. Uh... He's at the top I table. See, I see uh, only two faith and one apprentice. I see three tomatoes. I guess, I'm guessing with the swap engine. Um, the more I look at it, the more questions I have. So maybe I'm... I should stop <laughs> yeah. and just accept that he's undefeated. He, he's undefeated, and here we are. We're we're watching. He's playing, or they they are wa- they're playing. We're at the house, so whatever they got going on, it's clearly working. But I love it. I just love go control being at the top table. I love seeing Air Knight in the top performing deck. And it's just something that provides, you know, because <clears throat> a lot of people who the, the deter the, the naysayers to the format, they always talk about how the format's broken and how it's this, how it's that, how it's whatever, how it's one deck. But you see, we have, there is, there is some parody. You know, there's, you still see decks like this, I mean, they perform very well. And I think that's great for the format at large, but that's my opinion. Um, but so we're going, he's going to be playing against, uh, and I think, oh, sorry, let's go back. This is uh, SDL. I, I don't know who has the edge <clears throat> in this matchup, but I know if left arm suffering can get into it with some of the warrior players or um, some some of that stuff, he might be in an advantage as well because that deck is finely tuned to to kind of kick take out. It might it, that might that might give a Turbo a lot of trouble too with the creature swaps in there and the decrees mm-hmm. and, the, and triple thousand eyes uh, metamorphosis triple book of moon. It's gonna be a mess. The Borg's in there. I don't know. It's gonna be a long day. I would look out for this deck. Uh, super yeah, cool deck. I see a triple decree. Uh, <coughs> it makes Terra pop off more. I see Slash Tap only playing one book, um, main deck. So I, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting for sure. All right. So the next one we're going to go to, we're going to go to uh, the LeBounty. Mr. John LeBounty at the top tables again. Another champion, uh, FLC, Shonen Jump. Uh, he's trying to get that GFC. He's trying to be the another triple crown winner. Um, yeah. Trying to take this thing down. Always at the top tables, top worlds, top and everything. Uh, he's back on his warrior uh, shenanigans as well. Um, with with a pretty. This is very similar to what uh, what what LeBounty took to the world's event. Very very standard warrior stuff. He's super good with it. He, why why if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, what do you, what do you think about this deck? Typical warrior build. Uh, so <coughs> he does not main the dust tornado, but dust tornadoes. He uh, mains one zing, and then he mains one copy of smashing. <coughs> um, but beside, and he has a two Sasuke 
uh, for the spies. I th it just looks like he. Um, it's not the deck; it's the player. Right. And I, if anyone could pilot the, anyone could try to bring us to a tournament, but it's bound to who's on top of it. I would agree with that. I think I I, I was fortunate enough to see a few of his uh, a few of his games when I was playing, and I would have some time. I just tune in to see what he was doing. And he would just he was he was just going off on people. A lot of different things, a lot of different interactions and techniques he was pulling off. I want to I want to see if he ever got a Sura plus Big Bang shot off. Maybe that's sick. It's in there. It's it's just waiting. Yeah. Oh, he might be well suited against a lot of these goat decks that are in uh, the top table. There are two goat yeah, decks. Yeah, actually. Yeah, he might be exactly. locked right into place to kind of walk right through that with the Big Bang shot and the Sura. His side deck is finely tuned for that. If uh, if left arm suffering beats um, slash tap uh, and uh, makes and Labounty beats FDL Killer, uh, and I would not be surprised if I saw that as a big bank <laughs> shot in the winners finals. Oh, that's a lot of goats. That's a lot of things to get munched on. That's auto game right there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. That's... But these decks are now op these decks are open, so all the competitors do know what they what they're going to be facing. So it's uh mm -hmm. it's going to be something to see. Uh, and then we're going to go to the final deck. We've got SDL Killer another another perennial topping machine. You know, he's always at the top and he brought some heat. He, he also dug deep into the warrior bag. Uh, he's trying to get another uh, Ruby in that GFC crown. He's already a GFC champion. Uh, he's trying to get another one. Um, and he, and he dug deep into in, uh, this deck. Every, the more, how you felt about um, how, how you felt about left arm sufferings deck is how I feel about SDL's deck. Like the more I look at it, the more questions I have, and like the more like I don't, I don't understand. But clearly, it's obviously working, um, and he is where he is. Triple Ninja Grand Mass. He's like spy. You're not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. You know. He's got triple ninjas. Uh, Cliff in the main deck. All the battle traps. Every single one of them. And Royal Decree. I don't get it. Talk to me about what you think about this deck and uh, how 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 do you think it works? What. <laughs> Stands out the most about it is the six battle traps. So he, one uh, idea he may have had is because this is such a large event, it can attract a lot of newer players. And with Warriors being a pretty new friendly deck to run, not necessarily win, but to run, uh, he could catch a lot of people in the mirror match with the six battle traps. Mm. Uh, when, it, so when the game is simplified, those battle traps become godly. Uh, with triple Sasuke, yeah, I guess you just really hate Spy. Uh, with Cliff in the main deck, um, over Donnie, he doesn't play Don. Oh wow! I just oh see, I just noticed that, and he only plays one knock. There's only one nobleman there. There's only one nobleman, no Don, fifty battle traps. He is he is really geared for that mirror match. He it's like he knew it's like he knew he would face La Bouncy. <laughs> In, uh, that is that is so good. That is so smart, man. I don't know. And one berserk gorilla and another cliff in the side. Still no Don. Man, I love it. I love it. Like this is this is crazy. And he, if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen at home that are watching this, uh, SDL Killer is now the number one ranked goat format player. So clearly he knows what yeah. he's doing. He knows what the hell he's talking about. Um, I'm I, I'm looking at it. I don't understand. So maybe it's just more advanced than my 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 brain can handle. But he's got he's got the one compulsory in the side and the triple royal decree. That that just blows me too. Because when are you bringing that in? Like you bring it in against the warrior, but maybe he brings it in just for like a kill, like a kill shot. Like you you're not in phasing royal decree. You're just sitting on it, and then when your opponent tries to play their traps, you play it. If yours is cut off, it doesn't matter because you're usually pushing for game anyway. Maybe that's the theory. I don't know. SDL, please let me know the theory behind this deck. If you win, I would love to see you come on to the JDZ Plays Ghost and talk about this deck. I would love to hear what you have to say or any of the, any of the winners. Please uh, feel free to drop by. But uh, these are the matches. These are the decks. Um, I didn't make any picks. Insidious made a few picks, but uh, we'll see. How, we'll see how it goes, man. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. This event should be starting anytime soon. I should have this video up, and we'll see what you guys think. So make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Get into the get into it. Let us know what you think about this event. Let us know what you think about these decks. Um, and we're going to do it just like that. Uh, I'll have, like I said, I'll have the brackets up here. I'll have, uh, make sure you tune into the stream as well. The stream will be going um, all day, probably until the event completes. And uh, yeah, keep playing Ghost. In cities, you got anything else you want to say? Thank you so much for dropping by and helping me do this. I think it was really cool. I didn't want to do it by myself. And I'm glad the homie dropped by. And maybe we could do some more worldly stuff 
later on today as well if you have time. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, go Lucas. If, if anyone beats me, they better win a whole thing. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I like it. I like it. Um, so I, yeah, who do you do you want to do you want to make any picks? Do you final picks? Who do you think is going to win the whole thing? I'm inclined to pick someone on the winner's side because <laughs> that's just the percentages. Uh, I think. I think SDL beats LeBounty just because of how his deck is geared towards Warriors. Uh, slash tap versus uh, left arm suffering. Screw it, let's give it to left arm suffering. Mm. And then uh, between SDL Killer and uh, left arm suffering, I mean, SDL Killer has a six tr battle traps for left arm sufferings, uh, tomatoes, and uh, Thousand Eyes. So I'm, I'm thinking SDL Killer wins it. You calling SDL with another, another ruby in the crown? That might be yes, the, that might be the kiss of death. Sorry, FPL. <laughs> Until next time, maybe you can get one yeah. another another GSC at another time. But you've been picked to win by Insidious, so your coffins. No, I'm kidding. But I think any of these players can take it. They've all been playing very well this entire event, and that's what it takes. So we'll see. We'll tune in. It should be happening very soon. I'm JDZ. This is Insidious. Until the next time. Shout out to the OGs. Salute to the real ones. Peace.